In a separate screencast, I explained how to set up groups and groupings within Moodle. This screencast shows you how to assign those groups to a particular assignment. Allocating groups to an assignment is a very straightforward process. The example I used in a previous screencast is a class with 12 students. For the first assignment, we want them to do it in pairs, and the second assignment, we want them to do it in threes. As you will see, it's different students paired up on each occasion. So how does Moodle do this? It's very straightforward. Once the groupings have been set up, as explained in a previous screencast, create your assignment. Put in your title, your description, and indeed your various deadline dates. The extra bit when you're coming to groups is down here. Students submit in groups. We click this to yes. Do we want all students to submit a document or do we just want one person from the group? The choice is yours whether you want this to be yes or no. The grouping for the student is the key one. What groups are we going to use? We're going to do it for assignment one. And then we scroll down and click Save Changes. Translating that back to the classroom scenario, when I as an instructor grade this student, the second student will receive the same grade and the same feedback automatically. Again, when I move on to the second group, when I grade this student, their partner will receive the same grade and the same feedback automatically. From a lecturer's point of view, I grade and mark six students, but simultaneously their partners receive the same grade and feedback, reducing my workload in half. The time savings are obviously increased when I have larger groups. If you would like more information on using groups within Moodle, please visit liutv.dcu.ie or moodle.org.